Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, January 23rd, 2022. Today's puzzle has a title, it's called Turns of Phrase. Alright, let's get started. One across. Website? And this is wordplay. I think we've seen this same wordplay before, late last year. I think this is going to be Attic. Yeah. It's interesting. I think the last time we saw this, there wasn't a space between web and site. I think this actually works better. Yeah, website. They're not talking about a website on the internet. That's pretty clever. Home with a pointy roof. I think that's going to be an A-frame. Worked on Wall Street. I think that should be traded. You're trading stocks. Bring to a repair shop, say? I wonder if that's tow in. You'd really need repairs if you need a tow, yeah. Creative springboard. Could that be an idea? Cereal once advertised by Woody Woodpecker. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think I know this. Let's get some crossing help here. Fictional character who says, I will take the ring, though I do not know the way. That was brave little Frodo. Frodo Baggins, yeah. All right, so it starts with C-O. Is it gonna be corn something? Glowing or shining? That could be radiant. Right on, an equivalent phrase. I think we need amen here. Something to make after you wake. Hmm. I wonder if this is going to be your bed. Yeah, you have to make your bed after you wake. Lacking color could be drab. All right, let's take a look at our first long across here. I wonder if this is going to be some kind of turn of phrase. Artists sketching pectorals. Interesting. Um, okay, so like pectoral muscles? It looks like it's going to start with drawers, right? Um, that would give us corn here. I think that's pretty good. I don't know how this is going to end, though. It's kind of interesting because the pectoral muscles are on your chest, right? And usually chests have drawers in them, right? Furniture chests? Yeah, that's interesting. Drawers of chests? I wonder if it is chests. Yeah, that's very clever. Um, because this answer makes you think of a piece of furniture, and then it's kind of wackified in this clue here. Yeah, let's see if that's right. Subject for Lao Zi, that is one of the many spellings of the founder of Taoism. Yeah, okay, I think we're on the right track here. Sounds from a lab? This is such a nice misdirection. This isn't a laboratory. This is going to be a Labrador. Um, I guess it's going to be ARFs. <laughs> That's pretty cute. Okay. Browser window could be a tab. The art of fugue composer. I've never heard of that, but it looks like it has to be Bach. Scorpion for one? That's interesting. Hmm, I'm not sure what this is going for. Main. That's very ambiguous. Hmm. Work rotations? That should be shifts. Let's see if we can get some of these downs here. One's kin casually? Is that going to be the fam? Loosen in a way? Hmm, in a way. This is going to be tough because it's going to be in a specific way, but we don't know what they're referring to. Streaming service acquired by Fox in 2020. Is that going to be Tubi? Is that right? Some zeros and ones. Yeah, that'll be bits. Bar necessities at times. Hmm, maybe that'll be IDs if you're getting carded at a bar where you can drink alcohol. 
Yeah. Okay. So is this an arachnid? Oh, that's great. I don't think I knew that. That's fascinating. Okay. Maybe this is chief. The main problem. The chief problem. Yeah. Okay. So what is this going to be? A loosen in a way. Hmm. It's not unstuck, right? I wonder if it's unstick. Could that be? E-A-I? That seems wrong. Either side of a beaming grin in a phrase. That should be ear to ear, right? So it's not unstick. Hmm. That's interesting. I'm not sure what this is going to be. Let's move back over here. Brief period of work. That could be a stint. Maybe you were doing a stint on your shift. <laughs> okay, spot at a casino. I wonder if that's going to be a pip. Pips are the little symbols on playing cards. So like a five of diamonds, there's five pips on it. I wonder if this is going to be corn pops. I don't think I knew that, that it was advertised by Woody Woodpecker. Bottle marked with a skull and crossbones. Ooh, um, maybe that's just poison? Yeah. Is this going to be another theme answer? It looks like it. Vow to remain mum about hotel guests' secrets. Okay, um... Hmm. I'm not sure about this one. It seems like there has to be another word for vow in here somewhere, maybe at the end? Hmm. Let's get more crossing help on this one. Possibility. Could that be an option? Garden shed items. That could be hose, maybe. Um, maybe this could be honor? Yeah, honor of something. I wonder if we're going to have of in the middle of every theme answer. Drawers of chests, honor of something. Hmm, okay, well, let's try it. Caramel filled candy, that's going to be a Rolo. You can leave this to me, an equivalent phrase. You can leave this to me. Hmm, I'm not sure about this one. Declined. Is that slid? Ooh, that's a little tricky. I guess this should be on it, yeah. And this is probably another theme answer too. Small distance covered by a naval armada. I guess it's going to start with foot, maybe? Foot of something, if our of stays consistent? Let's see if that's right. Adversary could be a foe. That's looking pretty good. Somersault. Could that be do a flip? <laughs> okay. Two's opposite. That should be fro. To and fro. Like climates where cacti thrive. I guess they like arid climates. Old timey reproach. Is it phi? I don't know. Willem who played Jesus in The Last Temptation of Christ. I guess that's probably Willem Dafoe. So maybe it is phi. Foot of something. Is it going to be a fleet? Foot of fleet? Wait a minute. Isn't the real phrase fleet of foot? Oh my god, these are turns of phrase. So you're reversing the order of the words in common phrases. Chests of drawers, yeah. So this should probably be maids of honor, right? Yeah, there's maids that could work at a hotel. Oh my God, that's so funny. Honor of maids. All right, I think we finally cracked this theme open. Foot of fleet. Wow, that's great. That's really fun. And that knowledge is going to help us a lot on the subsequent theme answers. Excellent. Um, hmm. Is it going to be unstrap? That seems a little strange to me. Declaration by one who's done playing. I guess that's I fold. If you don't have enough pips on your cards, maybe. Yeah. 
Okay, so we think this might be a P? That seems so strange. Scoffing sound. Maybe that's just a puff of air like this? Yeah, like a skeptical sound. Ooh, maybe it is unstrap, yeah. Cost for a spot, yeah, that could be an ad fee. Okay, easy, everything's going to be okay, an equivalent phrase, that's very reassuring. Um, I'm not sure what it's going to be. Let's see what this short across is. Over poetical? So I guess this isn't about purple prose. I guess this has to be the word for over in poet speak. So that'll be or, yeah, okay. Scottish cap, that could be a tam, a tam a shanter. Pointy part of a charger. And this is more wordplay, so it can't be about a phone charger. Maybe this is going to be about a knight who's charging in a joust? The pointy part of that charger would be a lance, right? That's pretty clever, I like that one. Um, okay, so maybe this is just relax. There we go. That's a great equivalent. French I like. Oh, I'm so bad with French. I'm not sure about this one. Tony Winter McDonald. I'm so bad with Broadway. Let's see if we can get this down here. Huge quantity. Uh, that could be a ton. It could be a lot of things. Ah, oh, man. We weren't able to build across here. We're gonna have to probably try to build up from here. Some pianos and motorcycles. That's interesting. I'm not sure about that. Emotion in motion per Mae West. I wonder if that's gonna be sex. That sounds like something Mae West could have said, yeah. Last word of Ulysses. Oh man, I've never read this. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. Oh man, we're having a lot of trouble building through this section. Let's see if we can start fresh in this corner up here. Civil rights group once led by MLK. Um, I'm not sure. Shoot, yeah, I don't know. Wasn't overturned on appeal. Could that be stood, like the ruling stood? Stays out all night, and this is wordplay, so this is not about staying out to party all night. I wonder if this is just about sleeping all night. Yeah, how could you describe that? It's not sleeps, that's too long. Hmm, makeup of some music libraries. That's probably CDs. Run easily. Could that be lope? That's another word for kind of like casual running. It has several steps. Hmm. I wonder if this is being tricky. LC. I'm not sure. And this is not naps. It's not sleeps. Man. Shoot, we just kind of struck out in this corner, didn't we? Let's see if we can get this section here. Hoops org. Okay, this can't be the NBA. I wonder if it's the WNBA? I guess it could be the NCAA also. Driver of film. Is that going to be Adam Driver? It seems pretty likely. Let's see. Te quiero sentiment? Huh. Um, I think te quiero means I care for you in Spanish, right? So, could that be love, I wonder? Could it be amor? Hmm, I'm not sure. Modern day carpe diem. I think this should be YOLO, right? You only live once. That is a modern day carpe diem. First sitting prez to fly in an airplane. I guess that looks like it could be FDR. That would be kind of the right time period, I guess. Benjamin Franklin famously considered it a rank coward with bad moral character. It? Why is it it? Is he talking about a bald eagle? <laughs> That's so funny. That's right, he wanted the turkey to be the national bird of the United States, right? You know, I think he might have been right about that. Turkeys are pretty cool. Not that I have anything against bald eagles, yeah. All right. 
it has several steps. So this is not about like Ikea instructions. I wonder if it's just a stairway. That would have several steps, right? And then I wonder if this is going to be the Southern Poverty Law Center, SPLC. That seems pretty likely, yeah. Hmm. This I still can't make sense of. I don't know why I can't think of this word. It has to be a word that means sleeps. I wonder if we can get this one. Ooh, is this a theme answer? Oh man, I think it is. What a dog walker and a strong-willed pooch might vie for. And we have our of. Yeah, this is definitely a theme answer. Hmm, what is that going to be? A dog walker. Hmm, I'm not sure. Let's see if we can get the end here. Okay, I wonder if this pianos and motorcycles answer is Yamaha's? An actual brand name? Yeah, that's funny. Okay, Thomas Blank, British General at Bunker Hill. I don't think I know this one. One of the Boxing Ali's. Okay, well, it's not Muhammad, so it has to be Layla, right? I think she spells her name with an I. Yeah, let's see if that's right. Goal in musical chairs. Well, you definitely want a seat if you're playing musical chairs, yeah. Really bother, that could be nag at. Something unleashed in a denial of service attack. I think that would be a botnet, yeah. A bunch of kind of zombie computers under your control. So what is this gonna be, chain? It looks like chain of command, right? Hmm, is that right? So it's not gonna be SPLC? Hmm, it must be some other organization. I'm not sure what this is gonna be then. SCLC? Interesting. Command of chain. Yeah, I think that has to be right. So Goose, what is the SCLC? Is it something to do with South Carolina? Hmm, okay. What in the world stays out all night? Is it not Lope? I don't know. A huge quantity. I guess this could be slew? A slew of something? Stays out all night. Is it lamps? Like you turn off your lamp all night? That seems very strange to me. I'm gonna take out Lope. Oh man, this section. A-U-W-R-A seems very strange also. I wonder if this is going to be SCAD. That seems much better. This could be Audra. Yeah, if this was SCAD. This could be Jaim. I hope you'll please forgive my terrible French pronunciation. And then maybe this is gonna be Lope, and then this could be Camps stays out all night, yeah. It's not about being asleep, it's about staying outside all night. Oh man, that was tricky. Well, we finally cleaned up this corner here. I guess we'll probably have another theme answer here. Let's see. Non-binary people informally. I think that's going to be NBs. That's a very cute nickname. That nickname just comes from saying the initials of non-binary out loud, NB, NBs, yeah. Okay, Mideast VIP, that's gonna be an Emir maybe? Let's see, early times in verse. Maybe that's Morns, we're talking about poet speak again. Words after walk or cash. I wonder if that could be walk in on, cash in on. Yeah, group of followers. That could be a retinue. That is a great $10 word there. I like that one a lot. Response to no offense. That should be none taken, right? Yeah, okay, let's take a look at our next theme answer here. We've got a good start. The Bee Gees, Barry, Robin, and Maurice Gibb. Oh my god, um, well, I guess it's gonna be brothers, right? And then of, 
Is it going to be Band of Brothers? Brothers of Band? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I think we're finally getting the hang of this. It might gather lint. Could that be an innie? An innie belly button? Yeah, that's true. 2000's Fox Teen Drama. That has to be the OC, right? Jacqueline or Jacques. Okay, so these are both French names. So maybe that's going to be the French word for name. That could be nom, like in nom de plume. Aromatic trees. Hmm. What is that going to be? Hyperbolic wait time. That could be an eon. Oh, so maybe this is going to be eucalyptus. Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to spell this. Um, oh, wait a minute. That's not going to fit, is it? Eucalyptus. No, it doesn't fit, does it? What is this going to be then? Oh my god, are we dealing with some sort of weird Latin plural? Is this going to be eucalypti? <laughs> oh my god. Um, I think it is. I think it has to be. Eucalypti. <laughs> uh, I can't believe that actually happened. That's so funny. I guess you have to be very suspicious anytime a noun ends in US. Yeah, it could be potentially pluralized with an I at the end of it. Let's take a look at this next theme answer here. Boxer lacking a left hook. All right. Um, hmm. I don't know if we have enough to get this. I don't even know where the of should go here. Let's see if we can find it in the middle here somewhere. For sure, for short. I think that should be deaf. Okay, maybe the of is here. Is this going to be man of something? So then the original phrase would be something of man. And it's about a boxer. Hmm, I don't know. Something a snowboarder catches. Hmm, I don't know. Playwright Simon. I'm not great with playwrights. Nick of 48 Hours. I do know Nick Nolte was in that movie. That doesn't help too much here. Maybe this could be Neil Simon? What is this going to be? Maybe this is Duffo with an A? I think I probably spelled Willem Duffo's name wrong. Yeah. So this is going to be AI something? Maybe it's going to be Air? Yeah, if you're going off of like a half pipe or something. Hmm, man of something. Is this going to be man of rights? Rights of man? <laughs> oh my god, that's so tricky. I don't even know what rights of man really refers to. Is it some kind of like philosophical phrase? I'm not sure. Blank dancer. Could that be a go-go dancer? Minotaur's foot is going to be a hoof. Beer brand whose name spells an article of apparel backwards. Oh my god. <laughs> I have no idea. Let's get some crossing help here. Below par? I guess that could be poor. Unless you're talking about golf, then it's really good. Blank eyes? I guess that could be googly eyes, possibly? Yeah. Is this going to be shorts? No, that can't be. Actually, could it be shorts? Could it be Strohs? Could that be a beer brand? I don't know if I've ever heard of that, but I want to say maybe it's possible. Yeah, we have that of here already. Look at that. Fly into a rant? I guess it could start with go, possibly. Like go mad or go ape? I'm not sure. Red Light District Establishment. Hmm. I'm not sure about this one either. It's not a brothel. That's too short. Is it not googly eyes? Bird known in the UK as a diver. That seems like that should be a loon, right? So maybe it's goo goo eyes? Could that be? Hmm. Is this a bordello? <laughs> I think it could be. All right, let's take a look at this next theme answer before we get too much of it filled in. It looks like it might end in horn. 
what brass band music has. Okay, so this is going to be plenty of horn instead of horn of plenty. I love that one. That's really clever. Old blank motherland affectionately. Hmm. S blank D. That looks a little strange. I don't think this could be go ape in that case. It can't be old sad, right? What else could it be though? Hmm. Could it be old sod? That's the only thing that kind of makes sense to me. Hmm. I guess it could be go off and then that F could give us the F of the of in the last theme answer. Maybe it is old sod. I haven't heard of that before. Let's just confirm this is go off. Very productive. Maybe that could be fertile, like fertile soil is very productive. Harvest could be reap, yeah, after you plant in fertile soil. PlayStation, this is not about the Sony PlayStation, this is wordplay. Hmm. Interesting, it's not Atari, right? They're not talking about another video game console. I think this should be talking about a different kind of play. Maybe like a theatrical play? Yeah, that should be a stage, right? Nice, okay. A lumberjack's favorite kind of beer. Um, it looks like it's gonna be a lager. Why would that be a lumberjack's favorite kind of beer though? Lager. Oh, because it sounds like lager, <laughs> which is what a lumberjack is. Oh my God, that's so funny. Those homophone wordplay clues are really tough to get sometimes. I'm not always expecting them. Sometimes they come out of left field, yeah. That's pretty great. All right, columns with angles. That has to be op-eds opposite the editorial page. Dispensed with, hmm, I'm not sure about this one. NHL team with five championship winning seasons in the 1980s. I'm not super great with hockey, but it looks like it might be the Oilers. Praising poetry, that has to be odes, okay. Court, that could be woo. Yeah, you're trying to court someone's affections. Announced, that could just be said, I guess. And then maybe dispensed with is waived. Like you could waive an ad fee possibly. Okay, let's see if we can get this last theme answer here. Tree feature in winter. Okay, it has to be of leaves. So the original phrase would be leaves of something. I wonder if that's gonna be leaves of absence because leaves aren't there in the winter, right? That's so funny. That's another really clever one. I love it. Oh my God, these are great. Once we got the hang of these, these weren't too hard. Yeah, and they're really punny. I like these a lot. Absence of leaves, plenty of horn. I think that's my favorite. Okay, totally fine. Maybe that's A-OK. -okay. Duh, in modern slang. I think that has to be OBS, right? All the kids are saying that these days. Audience for Coco Melon, the most viewed YouTube channel in the US. I do know about this. I have some young nieces. Um, I guess that has to be kids, right? So maybe this is Obvi instead of OBS with an S at the end, yeah. Yeah, Coco Melon is quite the phenomenon. Okay, galosh? Hmm, does this have to do with galoshes? The kind of galoshes you wear on your feet? I wonder if that could be an overboot? Could that be? Or maybe an overshoe? What is this? Tall tails, yeah, that should be yarns, right? So maybe it's an overshoe, so your shoes don't get wet. Pine. Is this talking about a pine tree? Or is this about pining for someone? Hmm, I don't know. Like the Radio City Music Hall sign, that's definitely neon. Alternative to Webster's in brief, that'll be the Oxford English Dictionary. Omega's place, Omega is the last letter of the Greek alphabet, so that would be at the end. Pine. 
Hmm. What is that going to be? Beat in a race. That should be outrun. And then this is going to be U-S-H-E. Ush. Oh my god. I made so many mistakes here. Okay. This has to be outran. This is so tricky because this could be present tense or past tense. Beat. So this has to be past tense. And then I spelled absence wrong. It has to be absence with a C. And then pine could be ache. Yeah, this is like aching for someone that you miss really badly. Oof, okay. Well, we got that straightened out, thankfully. Spuds could be taters. Like some vodkas. Hmm. Used? It's going to end in used? That's interesting. Watcher of the skies for short. That should be the FAA, right? Federal Aviation Administration. So maybe this is infused. Yeah, they'd be infused with flavors. Is this going to be a Yeti? Himalayan humanoid? Yeah, we just had the Yeti yesterday making tracks. That's so funny. Smiley face alternative? I guess that would be LOL. Caroler's repertoire. That's going to be Noel's. Groups of Greeks informally. I think this isn't going to be the kind of Greeks that would have Omega as the last letter of their alphabet. I think this is going to be Greeks on a campus, and that would be frats informally. Ballet sections. Hmm. It's not just acts, is it? You can count on them. Oh, that's so tricky. This is going to be another tricky Latin plural intersecting our eucalypti here. That's going to be abacai, plural of abacus. Oh my god, that's so funny that they did that. That's almost like intentional. Okay, maybe it is acts here. Not even a little off. Hmm. I'm not sure about that one. Got rid of could be axed, maybe. If you're getting rid of someone in an office, you're firing them, you're axing them. So maybe this is going to be exact. Yeah, and it is axed. Okay. Quaint bathroom sign. Um, maybe that's gents? It could be. Something swollen on a pro athlete? <laughs> this isn't going to be about a swollen knee or something. Yeah, this is going to be about a swollen ego. Only on some pro athletes, not every pro athlete. Okay, what are the blank? That should be what are the odds? Draws. Hmm. What is that going to be? This is a pretty ambiguous clue. There's a lot of meanings of draws. It's not refracts, I don't think. It's not retracts either, is it? I guess it could be retracts. Let's see. I'm afraid blank, punchline of a classic joke. I think that's I'm afraid not. Yeah, I've heard that one before. Destination for a return flight. Hmm, that's interesting. We think this might be an E for a return flight. Huh, I would want that to be like home or something. I don't know. Gumbo ingredient is definitely okra. Sweetie could be bay, another very contemporary piece of language. And then knock on the head should be bonk, I think. Oh my god, this is so great. This is a misdirection. Destination for a return flight. That'll be a nest, right? That would be a return flight of a bird. What a wonderful clue to end this Sunday solve on, yeah. Okay, so this is going to be attracts, draws. Yeah, that's very good. All right, let's throw this T in there and see if that does it for us. All right, a Sunday puzzle in a very respectable 45 minutes. That's great. Yeah, we caught onto this theme fairly quickly. I think it took us until the third example to really understand what was going on. We got drawers of chests and we kind of understood that it was a different kind of chest they were talking about, but we didn't get that it was reversing until fleet of foot became foot of fleet. Yeah, but all of these were really fun. Honor of Maids, that was pretty tricky. Command of Chain, yeah. But I do think these last two were my favorite. Plenty of Horn and Absence of Leaves, yeah. 
but these were all very good. I think the only one I was kind of confused by was Man of Rights, just because I'm not 100% sure what rights of man are about. But yeah, I'm sure it's a real phrase. It sounds vaguely familiar. Um, but yeah, this is a perfect Sunday theme. Yeah, just a nice casual common phrase reversal wordplay theme. I really enjoyed that one. It was just relaxing, yeah. Man, I think this was maybe my favorite clue of the puzzle. We got to end on it. Destination for a return flight for Nest. Ugh, oh, that's so great. I liked seeing NBs on the grid too. That's a really nice contemporary word there. We also had Bay. That's shown up plenty of times, but that's very contemporary. And Obvi also. And YOLO. Yeah, we had something for the kids on today's puzzle. Hopefully all the youngins appreciate that today. I think this was the only section that gave us a lot of trouble here, this northeast corner. I think it was this French word here and Audra McDonald. Yeah, that was just so tricky. This was actually a great wordplay clue, camps for stays out all night, but it was just made so difficult by having so much trouble getting what was surrounding it. Yeah. I really liked this Lance wordplay clue too, pointy part of a charger. And Pip, too. That was fun. Spot at a casino. You're not spotting someone money. This one was very difficult, yeah. Very nice misdirection here. And, oh my god, this Latin plural cross here. <laughs> this has to be intentional. They're definitely messing with us on this one. Alright, well I guess it's time for me to take my absence of leaves. I hope you enjoyed solving this Sunday puzzle along with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the nice easy Monday puzzle. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye.